so there you go so now the project is created you can actually close this window uh, we can go to our newly created project um, and here you have all the platforms um, okay basically from here to here um, so if you want to open up in Eclipse later on we will do this okay so you'll go into this folder if you want an iOS Mac um, project okay um, you'll go into this Linux now Windows 8.1 universal so you can create for um, like as, as a Windows 8.1 app um, or you can make a Windows phone like 8.1 app uh, you know with this and then you have a WP8 XAML also okay might not get into this but uh, but we'll definitely get into how to make um, a Windows 32 you know uh, application so um, oops shit I really do want to do that okay um, so since we're making an iOS game okay we'll go into this folder and then uh, you need to have Xcode, uh, Xcode installed um, if not uh, <laughs> you can go into um, uh, the, the app store and just download it if you guys are having problems with it okay just let me know in fact if, I, if you're having problem with any of these steps do let me know okay and I will uh, get back to you guys so you can put it on the comment and you know that'll be it so once Xcode is in so all you have to do is just double click on it uh, the application will start bouncing meaning that it's about to open up like in any, any Mac uh, application Oh yeah, if you're having any problems, okay, not only regarding um, the code, Xcode or Cocoa Studio X, if you think that volume is low or if I'm talking too fast or there is too much ambient noise or something, okay, uh, do let me know and uh, I'll fix it uh, and re-upload it or, or if it's a very minor thing, at least from the next time onwards, okay, I'll make sure that uh, um, whatever your queries are met okay so that done so let's look at the folder structure okay and ios uh, whether it is uh, windows um, or um, ios or mac or whatever okay you your project will always have like a classes folder and a resource folder maybe in windows uh, the classes folder is, is called like source i think and the resource is called just res but ultimately you'll have these two folders okay in whatever id you that you open okay yeah even in eclipse okay you'll have like uh, these two folders uh, this is more ios specific okay um, so these are the frameworks um, you know and ios specific uh, so these are uh, ios specific classes so you have like dot h and dot mmm mmm mm classes okay i think one too many m's in there um, uh, you have the basic um, classes like root view controller and app controller and things okay don't have to worry about that at all okay uh, that is we'll only be doing that if you you, you make like um, like ads and you include external um, libraries and things for ad implementation etc okay but otherwise you will never uh, get into it uh, similarly for like the, the, this is Mac and uh, this, this is actually sort of like two in one um, this project I can actually build it on um, on the on an iOS device or I can build it on the desktop right now I mean uh, it's, it's it's actually um, it's actually that simple okay um, and classes so so that is and products uh, if, if you if you develop an app okay it'll like show up here uh, that, that as well uh, so that's about that this is the coco studio library okay this has all the like since uh, coco studio x is open source all the source files of uh, coco studio x is actually like right here okay uh, these are all the if you're really interested in knowing okay how a sprite gets displayed onto the screen you can go into 2d and then go into sprite node and actually see okay how sprite is actually created if you really want to do that if you're really interested in graphics programming and all that you can definitely okay get into that um, okay but otherwise okay you just want to be staying clear out of this node the, the only two folders okay that you'll be dealing or would like to deal with are uh, you know 
the classes folder and the and the resources folder. Uh, this is where all your classes reside. Okay, whatever new classes that you make. Um, okay, and this is like all your images and other assets, uh, like fonts and stuff. Okay, I like this idea here. All right. Um, we'll obviously be going deeper into all this. Okay, in the future um, episodes. This is more like an introductory um, session, I guess. Hmm. So okay. So, but otherwise, okay. Um, uh, that is pretty much it. And uh, finally, to run your game um, like sort of a hello world a small project is already built uh, we'll go through these classes individually okay next time um, but for now okay just to s to show you that it really works <laughs> uh, just click on play so you don't have to do anything additional okay and you will see that uh, now the source is getting compiled get a whole bunch of warnings here okay let's ignore that for now and uh, let me say if it takes too much time I'll just cut the video short and resume it like once it is just about 10 compiling All right. All right, so the build succeeded. Um, it didn't take that much long. I mean, it doesn't take like half an hour or something. It takes about like two, three minutes. Um, so this is your Xcode project. This is a simulator. So click on simulator because sometimes it like hangs back in the, in the background. Oh, and I also chose um, iPhone 4S, okay, because it will be like smaller. Um, because if I'm I'm running the monitor on a on a lower resolution for the tutorial, so if I uh, do it, you know, six x or something, it will be like it will be go be, it will go beyond the uh, the screen. So, uh, so that is it. I mean, I guess. No, I think this is still the starting screen. Ah, uh, screen. Sorry. So okay, so. Um, that is the hello world you have a label which says hello world you have an image um, Coco Studio X standard image uh, you get to see the number of vertices okay there are like 68 vertices and then no draw calls okay there are three objects on the screen as of now and the hello world label which is one label okay uh, one image and this one button so that's why you have like three GL calls here and this is the frame rate uh, right now it is hovering somewhere between um, I think 38 to like 45 FPS uh, since it's running on a simulator okay that's why it's running at uh, such um, a choppy frame rate but if you you know run it run it on a device you you will get a flat out uh, you know 60 FPS and uh, this 0 0.016 okay shows like um, that's actually in milliseconds like how fast the uh, like each frame is actually rendered so that's 0 0.016 one six I guess okay that's in milliseconds okay so anyway uh, and third is the button um, by default like these things are there uh, okay uh, in whichever project you create um, later on we'll see how to like remove this and add our code into it and uh, to uh, close the uh, application you can just click this button and the application will get closed mm. That is it for uh, the first video. So in the next video, okay, we'll see how to uh, we will see okay what is actually uh, in each of these classes and you know how we can remove and add or and what is happening in this class and how we can add and remove our own code into it. Okay, so that is all, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.